Um, so um, tonight, uh, the first, first one is parking issues. Um, I spent a little time talking with the, um, the um, parking authority. I, I spent an hour or so visiting with Joe down there and, and talking about issues and, and that type of thing. Um, some of the challenges, you know, some of the some of the parking issue complaints that I've heard at some of the um, at the um, council meetings and stuff. You know, it, it's hard to say that we have a parking problem. Um, I think there's some challenges in the borough. Um, some of the issues that that we've run into that have been identified are, you know, consumers or or um, employees parking in front of, of residential areas and then walking. Um, into the business district and leaving, taking away um, parking from the residences. Um, you know, it's, yeah. it's maybe more of a zoning enforcement issue um, for, from the sounds of things. Um, you know, from the discussions that I had with, with the parking authority, you know, some of the issues that they were facing is people parking, um, parking down on, um, uh, chest street and that type of thing and and hopping a bus or or something like that and taking away parking from in front of residences and when people came home they had find kind of challenges to find a place to park so um to kind of fully identify the parking issues and challenges in the borough um i suggested uh, perform maybe a parking a, a a needs assessment community survey regarding parking in the in the multiple use district um, reviewing uh, maybe the the um, planning commission could review the zoning ordinances regarding the parking requirements in Bridgeville Borough. Um, Dale, could, could, uh, Cheryl, can you hit the play button so we get a full screen on that slide? Cheryl? You have to enable edit, I think, and then hit uh, good night, good just hit enable ed up with editing up at the top. And then down at the bottom right, yeah. uh, next to the left of the slider. My, my computer's just being slow. Hang on. Oh, OK, all right. It's just not. No, no, not that. You want to hit the play button to the left of that. To your left. Right, right, right there, right. that one. There you go. There we go. Yeah. Great. There it is. Thank you. Okay. So, um, planning commission to take and review uh, zoning ordinances regarding the parking requirements in Bridgeville for potential articles or sections to be updated. Um, you know, one other possible um, solution is is involving having a workshop involving planning uh, parking authority, planning commission, um, zoning commission. Um, borough council and zoning officer and just kind of look at and, and see what sort of things um, we can do to to address some of the challenges um, and the other one is is kind of a um, a shot in the dark um, I, I used to live in a college town and we had issues with college students parking um, in the residential area um, like what we've got going on in some of the fringe business districts here and what they did was they created a, like a two hour parking from from eight to four or something. And then, you know, a permit only from um, 401 to, you know, eight o'clock, 8 a.m. the next morning. Um, and, I, you know, that creates its own set of issues. But um, that's just another um, possibility for for a solution. Um, solution partners, the Bridgeville Parking Authority. Borough manager, zoning officer, um, borough council, planning commission, community members. Um, possible funding is going to be relatively inexpensive, um, and value is is you know just going to create the can create um, you know better value in, within the community. So, um, commissioners, comments, feedback. Suggestions? Yeah, a couple of questions, Dale. I'm I'm wondering from your from your sit down with the parking authority that you referenced, 
was there sentiment that, yep, there's issues that need to be addressed? Or did you kind of have to go searching for issues? How big of a problem is it? I know we've had people come to planning commission over the last two years, very specific people with, you know, lived in certain areas and were tired of, of parking away from home and walking. But um, how pervasive is the issue? Or is this a solution in search of a problem? Or is there a problem here? Well, parking authority doesn't deem that there's a problem. Um, you know, they've got a plan to, to expand, um, you know, the parking lot down there by Bergs in the future. Um, but, you know, the, what they're, you know, what they're suggesting is, is they've got a couple people down on um, Hickman Street that are beyond the, um, beyond the, the, the paid parking and people will go down there and park and then they go down and go to Berg's or, or go to one of the bars or something for a couple hours and, and you know, homeowners come back and, and um, you know, it's kind of the fringe areas, mm. um, you know, and, and the, the, the issue up at the north end, um, St. Clair Street, you know, where, the, where it's been the true two, you know, kind of trouble spots that, are, that have been talked about. Dale, was there an ordinance that created the uh, parking meters on the residential streets, separate and apart from zoning? I, I don't know. That's a good question, Larry. Well, I assume there had to be. Uh, you know, make them uh, enforceable. I mean, basically, you know, those were places that were meters, were metered to begin with, and they just took the meters down, and and you know, it's it's their pay system now. Yeah, you know, when you say meter to begin with, I'm not sure where begin with started with you, but I don't, there was a lot of years where there was nothing yeah. there. And I've often wondered if that hasn't created the situation uh, with the residents uh, uh, that own the homes on those streets. Uh, and I think one thing we might want to add here is that if there is in fact an ordinance, and again, I assume there is, that you add that to the list. I don't know that it would be covered under a zoning ordinance. Yeah, you know, it, it, seems, it seems to me that that where the meters are are the, in the the business the the, the zone business district. <clears throat> I mean, Dale, there are. I mean, there. So speaking to where there were meters, like on Murray Avenue, I mean, there were parking meters there, and it is still considered off street parking, and that was one of the that was one of the hot spots where you mentioned, you know, people coming into Pittsburgh parking or coming into Bridgeville parking and taking the bus into town. Um, and that's why there was metered parking there to kind of discourage that long-term parking. Um, and now it's, and now it's just the, you have the, the kiosks now. Yeah. So to answer your question, Tim, I'm not sure, you know, yeah. um, the, the you know the, the some of the some of the issues um you know at least from the parking authority's perspective um you know that it's it's a it's a zoning issue um in the fringe areas that that's you know not being enforced i'd be curious too from the council members on the call joe and bill and others um is this something that comes up routinely or very incrementally Uh, this is this is Bill. I, it comes up routinely. I mean, you you have uh, you, you mentioned some of the hot spots: St. Clair Street, Baldwin Street, Hickman Street, and uh, and the issues are what Mike said. You had people that were that would park there and jump on a bus and go into town, and you know, the parking spots were taken. So, um, you know, we 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 were trying to establish something on uh, St. Clair Street that it because of the businesses down there and, and and migrating up further up the street the, the trouble was uh building an ordinance where you didn't punish the residents as well and giving them the opportunity to park um so you know we were we were knee deep into looking at permitting that area and, and you know do you give two vehicles or three vehicles uh it's more complicated than than it just sounds like uh you know hey let, let's make it a um uh, a permitted area so but it, to answer your question yes it, it's routine we, we hear yeah. the complaints a lot okay. so there is a there is an ordinance that specifically addresses that type of parking 
in, in certain areas, Larry, it's not all over. Like there isn't. No, no, I understand, but there is yeah. an ordinance, I guess, is the point. And I, and, and I like this issue generally, and I just think that to fill it out, we ought to add whatever that ordinance or ordinances are to this list of things to look at. So, you know, we can, you know, if we're going to have this workshop, we can kick it around and come up with some ideas and you know, see if we can come up with some kind of a consensus to address it. Well, yeah, we, we would welcome that. And, and looking through the through the um, zoning ordinance, I mean, parking's not just in one place, it's in three, two or three places. So it, it's going to, you know, we'll have to try and look at and address those issues too. And it is, you know, it, it may be one of those things that, you know, uh, it's just a matter of sitting down, getting everybody at the table and, and you know, just figuring out, is there an issue? Isn't there an issue? And, and um, what are the challenges if there are any? I have a question. Sure. Do we, do we have any idea what, what occupancy, business occupancy there is in Bridgeville in the available storefronts? Hmm. Are you asking how many employees? I'm not no. sure I understand. No, I just would like to know, are all the businesses, business places on Washington Avenue occupied? Or is there still some vacant? In other words, I'm trying to figure out is in Bridgeville in its heyday, was there always a parking problem? Or is there, since there are so many vacant storefronts now, has it decreased? And is it a lesser problem than it was before? Or does it make any difference? Well, I don't, I don't think there's a lot of, I don't think there's too many vacant storefronts. I mean, the most of them, I mean, we have a pretty low, uh, you know, non-vacancy in our town. Um, I think that when you say heyday, you know, we don't have retail stores as we did back in the, you know, back in the day, you know, right. most of our businesses are either, you know, restaurants and, you know, a lot of professional buildings and stuff like that, you know, but, uh, you know, so you're not getting the foot traffic where the people are, you know, people are coming in. And I think that's one of the issues where the parking becomes an issue is people are coming in for very short periods of time. And, you know, they might be coming in for an hour or half hour and, you know, the parking becomes, becomes an issue. Yeah. It, it's been a topic of discussion for decades. And I know there's a pretty strong, feeling, you know, in a lot of quarters in the borough, you know, that the reason that we don't have a more successful central business district is inadequate parking. Right. Not taking aside one way or another, but, you know, I've heard that discussion over the years, and I think there's an element of sensibility to that. So I, I think, you know, I still think this is a key issue. Uh, it, it just keeps coming up year after year after right. year. So. Has anybody thought of a park and ride for mass transit for the PAP buses? Yeah, they've got them here and there and around. There's none, I don't know where you would put one in Bridgeville. There used to be one over at Star City. I don't know if it's still there or not. Okay. I mean, is there a potential for a Baldwin Street park and ride if that ever comes to fruition down the road? I don't know. That's a good question. Because the, the buses used to go down Baldwin Street all the time, at least when I was growing up a million years ago. Yeah. Um, they used to go down Baldwin Street and then jog to the left and got, get on Bower Hill from there. So at least on that bus route, but I don't know, is that not the people causing the problem, the parking problems for St. Clair Street? Well, what, St. Clair Street wouldn't be, well, that's the one on Baldwin, Baldwin that's the, the 41 that goes to Pittsburgh that way. And then the one that goes to the water pipe would be with the 33 and the one. Okay. So. Right. Well, I, I don't want to get bogged down in a lot of discussion at this point in time. I mean, it's obviously something that, you know, we're either going to keep it on the list or not keep it on the list or, you know, move it up or down. But, okay. Um, I mean, it's, it's, there's obviously enough food for thought here, so um, 
unless anybody's got any serious objections and I'm going to move on. No, no serious objections. Though, just a last quick hit question. Do we have any experience in permitted parking within the borough over the past? Is that something that we've administered ever? Because I'm with you, costs feel very nominal here. It's legislation, it feels like zoning for the most part. But if you get into permitted parking, some percentage of overhead comes into managing that stuff and renewals and fees and whatever. Yeah, Tim, this is Bill. Yeah, that we used to have permits. Uh, okay. And, and so um, employees of certain businesses could buy a monthly uh, permit and park in, say, lot two or lot four. Okay. So something we've got some experience in. Yeah, years ago, but it, it was done. Pat, you were on first. You got. Sure. Um, regarding parking, uh, there is permit parking presently in Bridgeville. The parking authority administers it. Uh, uh, they administer permits for both on street parking and permit parking in the parking lot. Um, so it is uh, it is being done. Um, as far as parking to take the bus. You know, that that issue goes back 30 years, 30, 40 years. Um, and it's sort of a, it, it's sort of there, but recently, and I, I just don't, I don't find a whole lot of people coming to either council meetings or planning or parking authority regarding people that are parking to take the bus. That might exist, but I'd like to find an actual complaint. Um, it, historically it's been there, but with the park and rides that have been developed and with South Hills Village and the T, uh, I think that that has decreased the amount of the number of people that are parking and taking the bus. Uh, the larger issue I would submit to you is the expansion of parking. Um, and that is where I would hope that the Planning Commission would find a place, especially in the north end of Washington Avenue to expand parking. The parking authority administers parking. They have a search committee. Laura Dekelwa heads it. It has not been it has not been able to find a spot for parking in Bridgeville for several years. Um, and uh, you know, I think the planning commission could help by saying, you really want to go and put parking here. Because that will allow the community around that area to thrive. You talk to, uh, you look at Joe Cower's plans or a presentation on the North End. You look at a partnership with Collier Township that all ties into the North End. Um, and uh, you know, I would point out that one of the first steps is taking that uh, that engineer and perhaps splitting the bill to update the uh, the traffic. Uh, plan that Mike Haberman at Gateway prepared, you know, many years ago, which is a good foundation to, that the borough may start with um, in a partnership with Collier and uh, maybe split the cost of updating that. So that was it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Pat.